here we have our, our radiator blanking and our brake blanking. They're made out of carbon in this case and we attach magnets so then we can put them onto the car. On the braking side, they go through a small little channel straight to the brake disc and they just sit in nice and neat. Now we have all different sizes for different percentage of the brake blanking blanked up. That will give you different temperature ranges ranging from 500 to 1000 degrees. On the radiator side, we start at a 70 degree one, probably got a bit higher as well. And we got two sides so we can get our 5% based on, if, on in between. These are really easy to come out. They go, comes out, new one goes in. Now, obviously the main focus on the priority of these is the, the cooling of the engine and the brakes. A good side effect of this is downforce. So more you block up the front, the more downforce you have on the front wing here. So essentially by blocking off more at the front here, I'm creating a high pressure bubble on top. It's stopping the air going in and making the air go up and over. But by creating a high pressure here, I get air going under, which sucks down. With the engine side, we do dyno runs. Our engine supply KRE tell us what our optimum temp is to run at. We then just adjust throughout the day. For us, it's always better to add blanking throughout the session than it is to take away blanking. Because you go out, you give the driver the confidence of the, the downforce on the front. You then take it away and he can understeer into the corner. If we give him downforce on the front, it just means he has more turn.